Hi, I'm Peter Kernström of Kernström.com Business Solutions. In this series of demonstrations, I will show you how to make clickable links. Regretfully, SharePoint 2013 doesn't really have a good way of doing that. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to solve the problem that are workable, but maybe not optimal. So I'm going to start with this page here. I'm going to go into edit mode, remove this stuff, the documents web part. I don't need that one there. I'm also going to remove the get started thing here. Delete that web part. Yep. All right. Then we're going to start by creating my image. And uh, one of my favorite tools for creating images in general is PowerPoint. It's actually really cool for doing any kind of work with images. If you don't have something more powerful like Photoshop or something, but th this works and it allows you to do a lot of things. So I'm going to use one of my favorite features of PowerPoint here, the smart art. So I'm gonna, just going to do a um, cycle thing here. I think this one is good. Maybe that one. Anyhow, and then I'm just going to type in the different clickable links that I want. I want to have a party page. I want to have a foods page. I want to have a drink and I want to have an entertainment page. Right. And of course, I need to change the colors a bit here, make it a bit more colorful. OK, I think that looks good now. If I can only spell party, I can even spell party. What a fun person I am. There we go. Now I'm just going to select the text inside there and insert a hyperlink. So that, since I don't actually have a party page, I'll just link to the counterstorm.com page and the entertainment that will have to be our tips page, which is, of course, very, very entertaining. Anyhow, now I'm just going to change the size of this thing to make it fit the entire slide. Beautiful. And then I'm going to save this now. I'm going to save it to my finance sites where I am. So I'm just going to browse and then I'm going to open this URL there. So I'm just going to copy that part of the link and paste that up here in the address. Press enter. And there we are. I'm going to save that into documents and save this as clickable. Like that. Save. And now this, of course, is added into documents. I'll open that in a new tab and find my clickable links there. As you notice here, I now get a little preview there. And as you see, these are indeed clickable links. So what I want to do is add this part into my home page. And I can actually do that by going into the menu here and embed information. Then I get an iframe link that points directly into that document. So I'm going to copy all of that and then insert embed code and paste all of that. Of course, you can also modify here the code and make it higher or wider if you want. Let's have 600 pixels times uh, 400 pixels, I think is appropriate. Insert, big, nice PowerPoint online, save. And there you go, there's my PowerPoint online and these are my clickable links. So now if I click on entertainment, It'll take me to the tips page just as intended. Now, of course, you might not want to have this slide selector and all that. You just want a clickable link. Well, as I told you, this is the simplest way of doing it. There's no code involved. It's just copy and paste. I'm going to show you some other ways that are slightly more complex, but will give you a slightly better result. Check my other demos for more on clickable links. Thank you for watching this demo.